Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board the agreement number 79 from Brunei to Sambal, Adotak, Patai, Kokong, Tad, and Kochang, departure from at 7.15 a.m. Hello everyone and thank you for tuning into my vlog. In today's video, I'm taking a one day trip to Kokong to work on a corporate video project storyboard for Wong MES restaurant, the parent food brands of Empress of China and the Sang Empress in Cambodia. I took this trip to Kokong with my friends of Eng. We always wanted to travel together. So this won't be the last time you see him in my videos. Unfortunately, on our first trip, he missed the bus because he waited at the wrong place due to a route change. Luckily, the bus stopped at a gas station on the outskirts of the city and he was able to catch up with the tuk -tuk. I don't know. That's why I'm wondering why the bus changed. You can go up if you want. I sit there and you can go down. While in Kong Kong, we spent one night at Tan So Tatai Eco Resort at Ko Andet. Ko means island in Khmer and it's an hour away from Ko Kong Town. We also take a short tour of the seaside town before heading back to Phnom Penh. However, the road to Koko, which cuts through mountains, is still developing. I must admit, by the time I arrived, I feel like my internal organs had shifted. It was quite a ride. During the journey, the bus made its second stop at Sri Ambal Town for 15 minutes for lunch break. Instead of eating, we decided to take a short walk to the bridge to enjoy the scenic view of the river and mountains. Afterward, so in bought some rambutans and we ate it on the bus as we continued our journey. How much is it? Hmm, very sweet. After several hours on the bus, six hours in fact, we finally arrived in Kokong. We first stopped for lunch as we skipped earlier at Anon Restaurant, which serve a mix of Khmer, Thai, and Vietnamese cuisine. Initially, I considered going to Dim Sum Emperors at BTT gas station to work. However, I decided to go to the resort first to save time as I plan to return back to town the next day for a bus ride back to Phnom Penh. The ride to the resort on Ko Andred was an hour away from Kokong town, the way we came before. This time, we took a tuk tuk to get there, notifying the resort in advance so they could send a boat to pick us up. We knew we would have to navigate the road under construction. This is what I call road less travel. All the sake of visiting places I've never been before. How's my head? I guess I can't complain. We need to go under the Tai Tai Bridge for the boat to pick us up. After we arrived, so in safe contact of the Tutu driver who brought us here to arrange our pickup for tomorrow. If you want to visit like we do by taking tuk tuks, make sure you do the same. Okay, here's the tea. I mentioned that we called the hotel to say we will be arriving. That call was made at 1.30 pm and we expected the boat to pick us up at 2.30 pm. However, it didn't arrive. We called the resort nearly 20 times but no one answered. After waiting 30 minutes, we hired available boat to take us there. The small boat? Yeah. Too fast. <laughs> Too fast to free rest. Yeah, man. Okay. <laughs> Camera. 
After a 10 minute boat ride, we finally arrived at our destination. The tranquility was undeniable. Despite our frustration about unanswered call for the last 30 minutes, the boat ride compensated for it. However, the check-in process was disappointing. Here's another tea and no shade. We were scheduled to check in at 2pm, but the room was not even ready when we arrived at 3.15pm. We had to wait another hour before we could enter our room. As the island offered limited activities, we were informed that we could either explore the river stream by kayaking or follow the guided path into the wood. We chose to walk as we had an hour before our room was ready. At 4pm you all, the reason of the delay, only 3 people working, hospitality at its best. After settling in, we spend the night in absolute peace amongst the nature and doing nothing except eating, drinking and talking. One day off away from internet. That's the whole point of coming here. With all the shortcomings, we actually enjoy our time because the scenery was breathtaking. The following morning, we left without breakfast around 9.30am for Kokong Town to work on the video storyboard project at Dim Sum Empress UTT. While So Eng took some photos, I recorded videos of the stores. After finishing, we had brunch there. And enjoy our coffee at Amazon Cafe. If you ever visit Kokong, consider PTT in the downtown area as a one-stop destination for snack, food, and coffee. After we left PTT and still have a time to spare, we explore this quiet city. But, first So Eng wanted to go Kunchinang Kumpen, a stupa seat on a rock in the middle of the sea tributary which just across the bridge after which he said why did he come I don't here? know <laughs> so what this stupa all about from asking around in my best translation this is a site of a Khmer legend about a woman named Tim who married to Kun Chenang but had an affair with a commander named Kung Peng after Tim's death by the king order Kung Chinang buried her and built a stupa in memory of their love, leading to the naming of the nearby village. So, my take of So Eng going to Kung Chinang Kung Pen is he stays single, you all, and praying for love, perhaps. We return to town and continue to explore the food scene and market. Note that there is a halal eatery in the market by the Bay Area, where fresh seafood is typically prepared for delivery. With one hour more to go, we stumbled upon the village coffee and eatery. Just three minute walk from the bus station. We decided to rest here until it was time to leave. So that is all for today's vlog of my one day vacation trip to Kokong. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Until next time, bye. By the way, stay tuned for my upcoming vlog which include behind the same footage of this corporate video shoot. See ya! The tea is hot today. The tea is so hot, it's milk and sticky. <laughs>
Okay, I'm trying to shine. Don't do it. She can't do it. That's it. Come on.